it, it's because America has receded just about every single ally. What they say when you meet with them, particularly in private, is they grab you by the shoulder and they say, where is America? All right, it's fair to say that every time he speaks, people listen. Sometimes they hear things that aren't really there. 2016 presidential hopeful Senator Ted Cruz. He's blaming the rise of anti-Semitism and the Islamic terror on a lack of powerful American leadership on the world stage. He is one of many politicians who have gone after President Obama in recent months. Now, over the weekend, he sat down with Newsmax TV's John Bachman for an exclusive interview on everything from ISIS to that 2016 presidential election and what he thinks it will take to elect a strong conservative president. Gee, who knows? Maybe even him. Here's John. Yeah, perhaps, Ed. You know, Ted Cruz, if he is going to be the guy for the GOP in 2016, he's going to have to make some noise uh, to get it out of this crowded pack of potentials right now. Real Clear Politics, the composite poll has him sitting at the, around the 5% mark. Former governors Jeb Bush and Mike Huckabee are at about 14 and 12% respectively. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker comes in at about 9%. Now, again, if Cruz is, is betting that GOP primary voters this time around are going to want someone who has shown some spine from the conservative wing of the party, not the mushy middle, as he calls it. And we'll get to all of that in just a second. But first, let's take a look at what Senator Cruz had to say about the current U.S. strategy to defeat ISIS and what he would do. We need overwhelming air force, overwhelming air power, not a bomb here, a missile there. Right now, so President Obama is engaged in, in photo op foreign policy. This is another shock and awe uh, 2.0. And in terms of ground troops, absolutely we need ground troops, but we have boots on the ground right now. And those are the Kurds, the Peshmerga. The fighting soldiers for the Kurds are tremendously effective fighters. Mm -hmm. They've been allies of the United States for decades. They want to fight. They are fighting ISIS right now. Now, ISIS is using U.S. weaponry that they seized in Iraq against the Kurds. The Kurds are hopelessly outgunned. And the Obama administration refuses to arm the Kurds. They're sending the weapons instead to Baghdad. Baghdad doesn't want to give it to the Kurds, and so the Kurds are left without weaponry. We ought to be arming the Kurds right now, using the Kurds, the Peshmerga, as our boots on the ground. Now, that may require some special forces mm -hmm. to embed with them to aid the air power and airstrikes. But the Kurds are on the ground as our boots on the ground, and what we need is a commitment from the top to actually win this military conflict and to destroy ISIS. Well, Cruz wanted to make it clear that he thinks the Obama administration is making a huge mistake by refusing to call Islamic terrorism what it is. And Ed, we wouldn't let Ted Cruz, of course, get out of the chair without asking him a few questions about 2016 and what he expects from himself and the Republican Party. He says voters should demand to see a track record of their candidates so they can prove their conservative values and that they'll stand up for those values. Cruz believes that they'll be the main factor in selecting the GOP nominee in 2016. If we nominate in 2016 another candidate in the mold of Bob Dole or John McCain or Mitt Romney, and they are all good, honorable, decent men who I respect, but what they did didn't work. If we do it again, the same voters, the same millions of conservatives who stayed home in 2008 and 2012 will stay home in 2016, and Hillary Clinton will be the next president. I agree with Ronald Reagan. How do you win? We paint in bold colors, not pale pastels. That's what this election is going to be about. Now, we asked Cruz specifically about his poll numbers at this point in time, Ed, and if those were impacting his decisions as he moved ahead to 2016, and he said... More so, he was w hoping to, to, to lead on these types of issues, of course, not willing to uh, commit to a presidential run quite yet, but more so that he was ho helping, hoping that people saw him taking the lead on these issues, this funding fight for the Department of Homeland Security, and again, not backing President Obama's selection to be the next attorney general. He hopes those are the types of issues that voters remember when uh, the nomination process kicks into high gear. And uh, by the way, a University of Texas, Texas Tribune poll just out today says Cruz is the preferred choice of 20% of poll respondents. Uh, Scott Walker's 19. In Benita Texas. Heels. Interesting. There yeah. you go. In Texas, he's only got that one-point lead. John, mm. thanks so much, buddy. My pleasure, Ed. All right. Second hour gears up here on Midpoint. Congress back in session. Time for Republicans to man up and get something done instead of talking about it. Has Barack Obama helped or hurt the perception of African Americans? And waging war in Hollywood over the decades. All coming next.